What's up everyone, it's Matt here, and I'm assuming if you clicked on this video, you already saw the title, so let's get right into this challenge. Okay guys, so let's first get into this challenge. We have a couple rules. I'm probably going to make it up as we go, but it should be a really, really fun challenge. So um, we're going to look in my junk drawers right there, and my junk drawer down there with all these reels. Let me just show you guys real quick. So literally filled with crappy old reels that I've, I've collected. I've collected since I was younger and um, you know, I got some crappy reels in there and I got some crappy and weird poles over there. So um, guys, this should be really fun. Basically, I'm gonna make a combo. Sorry if this is loud. Pulling the tripod. I'm gonna make a combo, guys, and I'm gonna try and catch the biggest fish I can on that combo. Um, so basically, I'm gonna make a combo out of this crap stuff, and I'm going to find I don't know, I'm just gonna make this up a couple different lures. I'm gonna see if I can catch a big fish in any of the lures. I'm gonna have two challenges I'm gonna try and catch a giant fish, something over three pounds, in the north in the fall. It's a pretty big fish. And um, number two is try to catch a fish in every single lure I pick out. So guys, let's get right into this and let's start off with the reels. Okay guys, so I'm trying to make the lighting not so glary by sticking it near the wall. Actually, that doesn't look too good. I'll just put it there. It's not that bad, is it guys? quite a few more in my um, in my garage but I'm not gonna use those because today I'm just gonna stay down here I have way more than enough down here and I have two in my drawer right over here but they're both bad so I'm not even gonna take them out okay so let's show you guys what I got I got this crappy fish classic fish bones oh my god the lighting guys garbage 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 i'm so sorry but um yeah this classic fish bones um it's pretty crap but i used to fish salt water with it <laughs> and it has a um oh, what's it called fish runner and then you can flick it and you're on thank you least is that how it works yeah that's how it works it doesn't click but yeah, whatever. We got this reel right here. I'm gonna quickly try to fix the lighting one more time. And then I'm gonna show you guys the other reels. Okay guys, hopefully it's not just me, but this lighting looks way better. So um, let's get into, we got this reel right here, which I'm not gonna use. I'm just gonna say that right now. This is too easy. I will crush hogs all day on this. Just kidding, but I'll catch fish all day on this setup, or this reel. I might do another video, that'd be cool. You know, makes a couple different combos, trying to catch fish on all of them. But um, this is just too easy. I want to make this a really, really cool video. So I'm gonna put this back. Oh crap! I didn't break it. Don't worry. I'm putting that back in the box. Um, reel number two. I have this little crappy baitcaster, a little Bass Pro. It has no guide. I could use this. This would be pretty fun. Yeah, this is actually be really fun, guys. So I might use this right here. Um, it's absolutely garbage. That's all I'm saying. But it's something. So yeah, I got this little Zebho button reel that doesn't have drag at all. So that would be insane, guys. This would be insane. But I don't think I'm going to use it because it doesn't have drag. And want to catch a big fish today? Maybe for like a pan fishing video? That'd be pretty cool. But like, it literally doesn't have drag. I'd have to press the button every time. Plus, I don't even want to fish this spin cast. Not in this challenge. I got this reel. Um, it's got blue all over. It's basically, it's actually a decent reel, except it's really, really got that like greediness to it. Um, we're gonna say no to that one too. I got this, the coolest reel. Look at that guys. It's like an old-fashioned reel. So, um, 
This one's also up for grabs. And you know what? Looking at all these options, I might pull that fish bones one back up. I'm gonna consider this one too. And we got this, which I am not using. I'm saving this for another video. Stay tuned for that one, guys, eventually. Yeah, so these are my three. I'm gonna go take a look at the rods. Okay, guys, so for rod choice, I looked through all my crappy old rods and um, I realized like most of them are like big salt water and I'm like, that'd be fun, right? But like, wouldn't a, a fin rod be more fun because it would be more of a fight? So the only really crappy one, I think this rod I literally got for like five or ten dollars it's by eagle claw and it's just a flimsy little it's pretty old too but it's, it's actually not awful but i think it'd be awesome it's like i don't know like four feet let me show you guys that's the rod right there and yeah it's really really flimsy it's got four eyelets so we're gonna use this guys and yeah, now we're just gonna figure out a reel. So I'm gonna go test a few of these reels on the rod, see which one feels the best, and then I'll, I'll be back. Okay guys, so I'm strongly leaning towards this option. It looks sick. It's so short and it feels so weird and it would be so much fun to fish. So I'm strongly leaning towards this. I'm gonna go try them both, but I just wanna show you. Fits on pretty good, so. Okay guys, so this reel is basically useless when it comes to casting so i'm gonna save this reel for maybe like a cool like catfish type video that'd be awesome maybe a bass video that'd be that'd be sick also but um not this time this time i am so feeling this reel it is it doesn't even have the the um the guide thingy so i'm gonna have to like manually do it once in a while i don't care it's gonna be awesome let me set it up i'm gonna put some line on it and yeah let's get some lures Okay guys, so I'm using a really uh, versatile line, which is monofilament. Uh, in my opinion, monof monofilament is the most versatile. It is not the best for all circumstances, definitely not, but it's the most versatile. You can throw, it floats, you can throw top waters, you can throw sinking baits, you can throw everything in a stretch, so you can throw um, crank pits if you need to, a jig even if, if you have to. Um, and I'm using this really crappy $7, seven so it's like, it's it's... It's in. It's not like I'm using like pristine line for a crappy combo. Crappy line, crappy combo. It's 12 pounds, so it's like in between. I'd like a little bit lighter because it's light, like a lighter setup, but it'll work. So um, yeah. Let's find some baits. We got a lot of choices, guys. Okay, so guys, to make this challenge pretty fun, I'm gonna only limit it to this one drawer. Um, I have lures scattered everywhere, but this is where I kind of just throw whatever. I have some good lures in here that I can't fit in my tackle box, which I'm not going to use. Like, I'd be able to crush a pig on this. But um, um, like a lure like this, this is broken. You might be like, wow, this is like a you know, nice lure, nicer Paula jerkbait. Um, yeah, it's cracked. It leaks. You can catch fish on it, but it'll be tough. And I'm not going to use this either because... I think I'll catch a fish on it, but I am really looking at these spinner baits, these crappy garbage spinner baits. So these are definitely a choice, but um, oh, it's tough, guys. It's tough. Let me just show you some of these baits. I got this jerk bait right here. It's got rusty hooks and it's a little small, but it could work. I got this crank bait right here. Okay, guys, you know what? This crankbait, I am definitely taking this crankbait. Um, if you guys don't know this brand, it looks nice. It's really not the best crankbait. You can get a three-pack of these for like $4, and you can just tell like, the quality is garbage. But I'm going to use this as one of my three baits. That's going to be there because a crankbait, why not? And like this is just too light. I'm not going to be able to throw anything on a short pole and 12-pound test. Um, I do have some soft plastics, so I definitely want to go with some soft plastics. You know what? I'm going to make this interesting, guys, because I could get a pack of triggers, and I could trim one down to go on maybe a little jig or a jig head. Oh, crap. But I just found these lizards. They look sick, and I don't get to fish lizards often, so I'm going to do one of my baits is going to be these lizards, one of these lizards. 
And let's find some type of setup to fish them on. Oh my god, guys, we just hit the jackpot. I got a bobber stop. I got a jig head. I mean, um, a bullet weight, and I got a hook. That's in with that other hook. Let's see if I can find anything else. Um, I'm debating whether that I can use, I should use this lipless crankbait. Or, maybe this tiny swim bait. Hmm. Got a swim bait right there. Could set up a spinner bait set up right here. Fish a spinner bait. That could be interesting. You know what? We're gonna do that, guys. Oh my gosh, this swim bait is destroyed. But that's gonna be our spinner bait. I don't think that'll look too bad in the water. So that's our third bait. And guys, I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm doing it. I'm doing it for the boys, guys. But I'm bringing in this crankbait. Much crappier, much older. Here we go, guys. Three different baits. This video is gonna be about 4,000 minutes long, but hopefully they can crop a lot out. Um, I also just found this skirt in here. So I have the skirt just in case that shad falls off. And yeah, guys, I will see you at the pond. Actually, we gotta figure out what we're tying on first. Okay, um, what we're tying on first. 100% one of these. I'm so excited. I wanna fish that so bad. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna tie it on. I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so guys, here's the finished rig. Um, I'm done and I'm dumb and realized that I can't use a bobber stop, so I'm going to use a little tiny one of these. I have so many of these in here. These little um, uh, what are they called? Split shots. So let's split shot that there, just so it doesn't wobble around. I mean, some people like it to wobble a little for clacking. I don't really care right now. I mean, I don't need clacking. Um, the one problem, guys, it's really light. But yeah, it should work. There's like a space for a rattle there. Um, I don't know, it looks really, really good. The plastic's super, super soft. These look actually really good. So um, yeah, guys, I'm also bringing this just as a backup and I'll see you in the water. Three, two, one. Okay, guys, I'm here. Oh my God, I can hear him. Later. Okay guys, I am here at the pond. Um, yeah, all I can say is this pond is not the easiest to catch fish at. And yeah, got my rig set up. It's very shallow, very weedy. Oh my <laughs> Okay guys, uh, let's catch a fish. Okay, so guys, I might have had like one or two fish on this, but it just does not seem to be working at all. So I am changing up. Okay, so I'm probably going to switch to the spinner bait just because I really want to throw it. I think I might be able to get one on it if I'm lucky. So let's do that. Of course, guys, the one time I'm not recording, I straight up casted my bait off. Issue with my line, so I just got that undone. I'm putting on the little swim bait. It doesn't look that bad. It's a little worn out, hooks a little dull, but this is my best, you know, my best shot at catching them right now. It's the smallest bait I have, and if I snap this off, well then, I got my lipless crank. And that's all I got, really. That Texas rig ain't working, so.
Okay, guys, I'm really done with this not recording thing because I just had my first fish on and I just freaked out losing it because it spit the hook. I had him on, I brought him in, and he spit the hook. And I wasn't recording again, so I'm done. I'm recording everything now. I'm getting really frustrated with the reel that I was saying in, um, a second ago after I lost the fish. This reel, it's just getting to be such a hassle, guys. But the swim bait got a bite. It was a little fish. Probably like this big, probably half pound to a pounder. But it was a fish. And it wasn't super dinky, but I'm just happy that it was a fish. And he was on until like right next to me. Or not right next to me, but it was close. He came off. Oh my god. Could have either been a big sunfish, I think that was. Or it was weeds. I think it was a bass. Got him, I got him. Guys, it's a stud. It's a nice one. Oh, my God. Yes! <laughs> and he popped up, he was barely hooked, I saw it. Guys, that just felt, no joke, like a four pounder when I set into him. Look at this. Gotta get a good thumbnail, guys. I have got to get a good thumbnail. Holy cow, he's probably a half of a pound bass, guys. But I am so happy to have caught him. Holy cow. Woo. With the little fall tree. Should be sick, guys. Hopefully. Okay. Whew. On the little swim bait, guys. Nice little bass. He is so cold. Oh my god, since this pond's so shallow, that's probably why they're so finicky. It's because they're already into the, like, the winter feeding pattern. Like, he is cold, cold. So, there he is. Nice little guy. Felt like a four pounder when I set the hook into him. That's ridiculous. That was insane. But, um, yeah, guys, that's fish number one. I still got a little bit more time. That was like my second cast doing the lift and drop retrieve, so maybe that's the secret. Let's get another one. Okay, guys. Got him, got him, guys, got him. I watched him go to it. Flip him. Oh my God, it's actually such a nice pick roll. I saw, what? 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 Holy cow. Guys, look at this. That's actually such a nice pick roll out of here. Look at that pick roll. Guys, look at that. I knew I was gonna lose him. God, he's nuts, this fish right here. Stop, 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 stop. Look at that. Out of this little tiny stream swamp, guys. Little tiny brook. That is such a nice pickerel out of a little brook. Okay, later, buddy. Oh, he's right there. Oh, there he is, there he goes. Okay, let's get another one, guys. Okay, guys, I just wrapped it up and that is going to be the challenge. I caught one decent bass, maybe like half pounder, and one maybe half pound pickerel. You know, it was pretty good, pretty successful. Really, really hard, guys, the water was freezing. But um, yeah, I lost another nice bass too. 
But yeah, I'm gonna do another one of these challenges very, very soon. It's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna use that other reel. Stay tuned for that. And yeah, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.